He's. <laughs> You're talking during the intro again. Sorry, Come on. sorry, 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 Greg. Sorry, Greg. Welcome. Josh, Josh was just pointing out that you're probably pocketing all of our advertising money we're getting I, from Dunkin' Donuts. I, I, yes. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Welcome to Stuck in Beta. This is Greg. And those are Josh and Josh. They they like to talk during the intro. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. Sorry. Dunkin' Donuts, really? That was the uh, intro was ad, wasn't it? An ad on, on our live stream. I clicked no. on the live stream. Yeah, but that's... Oh, okay. Well, that... Is that what I didn't put that in? Is that <laughs> what bought your new LED lights? Yes, that's that's what bought them. Anyway, uh, we're here again. We yeah. went through uh, Thanksgiving like and we never all, left. It yeah. is like that, like week to week. Yep. So yeah, Thanksgiving. Five p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. Four thirty. Uh, I know. I was gonna say, oh. except for today, we're at four thirty. Yeah. It happens. You guys survive Thanksgiving. No family drama? No. I had a really nice Thanksgiving. No, you didn't survive. <laughs> yeah, I did survive. I had a really nice Thanksgiving. Good. I went to a couple of different, went to my family's and then went to Lori's family's. Um, but on the way to Lori's family's, we uh, drove past Walmart. Oh. And, and Lori's like, she saw a couple items in there in the ad, in the Black Friday ad. So she wanted to stop and take a look. But they didn't really start the Black Friday until 6. 6, so yeah. This was like at 4. She's like, ah, it's not so bad. You know, look at the parking lot. It was, you know, looks like any other day. So she, come on, let's go, let's go. Look at this great deal on this. I won't tell you what it was because just in case one of the kids are listening, it is a kid's Christmas gift. Um, New tires. So, so we we uh, we go back around six fifteen or so. Oh my gosh, she was. She kept saying it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It was crazy. I just don't like crowds like that. And I mean, it was like it didn't matter where you turned. Yeah. It was just like wall to wall people. It was terrible. And I was not. You happy. were in it. I was you? crabby. No, actually, well, Molly worked at Target that night. She's got a part-time job at Target, so she worked midnight till. Did she say if it was crazy? Morning. She said at the time because you know they open. I think Target was about the same opening at six or something, and by midnight, she she said that uh, there really wasn't that many people in the store. Huh. And it was kind of ridiculous them having being fully staffed hmm. because you know at a given time there's 12 people in the store wow. yeah that's crazy i think you know it she said it picked up again back at around 5 a.m but you know that hmm. that from midnight till that time you know there's everyone who wanted to get to the sales went there at the time for yeah. any, anybody wondering that noise, we've had to rent out part of the studio to a laundromat. <laughs> so that that's where that noise is coming from. I could tell them to calm down over there in the <laughs> It's in the fine. They're section. they're paying rent and it, it's fine. <laughs> well, you got to do what you so, got to do. Yep. So this uh this Black Friday experience that I had was just I mean, it's just they they keep making it more and more complicated it feels like. So like you I go in been years. You go in and there's like this map. Like everything's in a different location mm-hmm. in the store. Like you can't find electronics in an electronics department. Electronics might be in like the in the grocery aisle or something. Right. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So you know we we got we have this map. Not, not that you went for electronics no. in case the And we didn't. Listening. Um so we get this map and then we find out that this item that we're looking for is over in the lawn and garden section. It's not lawn and garden at all related. Go over there. There's this guy standing there. <laughs> And we're like, do you know where we can get this item? And he goes, oh, sure. And he opens up this in, or this uh, this folder that he's holding. Here's gives, your clue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt. I was like, really? This is crazy. Well, he hands us this uh, this piece of paper. It's got a barcode on it. You take this up there. You give it, you uh, scan it at the register, and then you drive around back to pick it up. Oh, wow. I was like, God. So stood in line to see him, then had to stand in line to pay for it, and then had to just drive and wait in line drive around the building wait in that line i bet that line was stupid it was just and then there was checkpoints along the way where they would ask you to see to see your id your uh your your documentation your receipts or whatever and then you'd go up to oh you're waiting in line for this yes okay yeah, and they, they, would, they would direct you because there was, like, different stations. Like, there was pallets of this, pallets of that. Wow. I mean, it's nowhere near how it was. We were talking, I think, last week or whatever, how it used to be so difficult to get something. 
Yeah, you wanted to punch somebody this weekend, yeah. didn't you? I mean, you well, wanted no. that Black Friday experience of punching somebody in the throat <laughs> for a game. <laughs> well, it used to feel like that. No, it used to feel like you needed to get you 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 was going to be really hard to get the item. Like you said, with that thing you were looking at last year, Greg, you you went in the store the next day and and it was available. Yeah, yeah. Well, this they had pallets and pallets of them, and they had like the whole uh, at Walmart. They had the whole. Uh, automotive section like cleared out and it was just pal it looked like a giant warehouse hmm. of all the crap all what the is, tvs the wow all the what stuff. if someone went in for like uh spark plugs or something well no i'm saying it, this was the the were the the lifts like the car the car lifts oh, okay. that part where they changed You're the tires about, and everything. oh the actual, yeah, the actual loop. garage area yeah so that was my experience wow what are you guys looking at uh, uh chat room greg's got an old chat room yeah room. it's sorry uh, I, I didn't do, I went, um, well, you could see over in the laundromat, I have a, <laughs> I got a fish tank for half price for, uh, Molly's nephews. Uh -oh, oh, are they cool. listening? I, I don't think they're listening. Oh, man. Because they're one in three. Oh, you okay. never know. Yeah, well. I didn't do any shopping. Annette went to the outlet, we were at the lake, Annette went to the outlet mall, but, uh, she said it was, eh, it wasn't horrible. The only... Did you guys do any Cyber Monday shopping? No, I really? did not. Really? I bought a Google Home for my parents for Christmas because my dad said he wants what to What if he's listening? He knows. He told me he wanted oh, well. it. <laughs> he, he wants to be able to sit on the couch and yell, hey, Google, turn down the thermostat, and it turned down the thermostat. <laughs> so they went and bought the Nest thermostat this weekend. They got the $50 off, and then they got the $100 mm. uh, power company credit. Yeah. And then I'm buying them the home for Christmas, so my dad can mm. yell, "Hey Google, turn down the thermostat." So did you? Speaking of Google Home, did you see that video? What here, video? I'll pull it up here on the screen here. <laughs> well, this isn't going to make for a good radio. Well, you you could you could listen to it. It's pretty it's pretty fun. You know what? I don't have the PC screen. Oh Jesus! But you could you could. No one's you could, watching. You could hear it here. Alexa, what's on my calendar tonight? Tonight, there is one event. At 6 p.m., there's, hey, Google, what's on my calendar tonight? You have a calendar entry today at 6 p.m. The title is, Alexa, what's on my calendar tonight? <laughs> tonight, there is one event. At 6 p.m., there's, hey, Google, what's on my calendar tonight? So, in other words... They can't. How long They're, does this go on and on? Well, it's only fifty seconds. But that is hilarious. That's funny. They so he put so anything you so can do. I can do better. Them, he that? has yeah. both. Okay. He has the Echo and the Home sitting next. It looked to each like other. the Echo Dot, right? Yeah, the Echo Dot. It looked. Like. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's funny. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I I think I read another review, uh, an Engadget review. I think this weekend that said uh, I've had the Home for three weeks and this is my second review, and it was going over and the guy said you know originally i didn't think it was going to be that useful because they didn't have a whole lot of support for third-party apps and third-party third-party products <clears throat> he said but he he has the alexa as well or the echo as well and he said he thinks it's home is far more useful and has more uses than um echo does hmm. which i think is kind of interesting yeah uh, it. I mean, even if it doesn't yet, it's gonna catch up. Yeah, Google. Well, Google has a bad history of abandoning things at weird times. But I, yeah, I think it'll be fine. But hardware, though. I mean, with their Chromecast. I mean, oh that's yeah, they, a the, big hit, the first so. revision still works with the Chromecast. That's what I have at home. Yeah. So. Me too. Well, uh, speaking of Chromecast and that, man, we got good segues this week. We do, it, man. How about, uh, did you hear about the DirecTV Now? I have heard about DirecTV Now. So I've only heard you guys well, <laughs> talking about it. <laughs> actually, it just became live today. You know, at and owns DirecTV. They announced uh, that they were going to have a streaming service. It went live today, and it's basically... You, heard a well you have sling tv right i have sling tv uh it's like sling tv or um playstation view um uh, but there's a lot a lot of channels it's i guess i would say it's more like the playstation view because it's got a little bit more channels and uh it starts at 35 bucks but i i've only had a little bit of time to play with it i like though out of the gate it's supported by um android and ios 
and it it can uh, use Chromecast and Apple TV and Fire TV. Not Roku yet, which is weird. Hmm. But I I played around casting it to the TV and all that, and video looked great. I didn't have any issues. I only watched maybe about a half hour of video on there, but none uh, of the hitching or, or no hiccups issues or like anything. Sling on the Chromecast. I mean, you know, when you first started up, it it got like kind of it kind of buffered just a tiny bit, but I kind of expected yeah. that. That's something I expect, but because um, the issue with Sling on the Chromecast was that it would, even after you were watching it for a while, it would hiccup and catch and at times it, kill the kill the stream. I couldn't get it to work. Really, Chromecast, or it would go to it, but it would just it bring the video up and then start buffering. And video, buffer, okay, but yeah, I I had issues. Maybe too. it's been fixed since you know I, last time. I haven't either. tried it in a, probably a year. Yeah, but this Direct TV now, I I figured what the heck, I'll try it out. Seven day trial. They give you the hundred channel package for thirty five bucks right now. I wonder how long that lat like are you going to be I able to keep that forever at I that don't rate know. or you know are they going to say a year from now hey guess what you're going to start paying the seventy dollar rate I yeah I don't that, know but the one thing there's no contract and they they say there's on their site there's a little switch cancel you know yeah. you don't have to that's what's good about Sling that's mm-hmm. what's good about PlayStation View I don't have to go through. I could jump in and out, right? You know. So here's a funny story. A guy I work with recently moved, and he had UVerse, AT and T's product, TV product, at his old house. He moved to a house that had UVerse available. When he um, he told AT and T he was moving, they said, "Yeah, no problem. Okay, tell us when." He moved. He called AT and T to say, "Okay, come out and set up my UVerse equipment." They said, um, "No, sorry, work since you moved. Um, that's." We're we're canceling your contract, and if you want service, you have to go to Directv. And he's like, "No, Uverse is available here at my new house. I just I still have a year left on my contract. I want Uverse back." And they said, "No, you have to go to Directv." He said, "Fine, I'm going to Charter." Oh, huh. weird. Yeah, I, 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 I had heard they're pushing Directv way more than they're pushing Uverse. Hmm. I could see him wanting to get out of. You know, why have two services? Well, the big issue with Uverse, why it's more attractive to go direct TV, you don't have the cables to maintain. It's, right. My buddy works for AT&T, and he said that's why they're doing that. Yeah, they see, see it as, as yeah. much less operating cost running direct TV than running Uverse because they own those lines when with Uverse. See, my complaint with any of these companies or any of the ones you guys are talking about, any of the actual hardware I guess that's what you would call hardware them, based, hardware sure. based yeah. uh, companies is they don't treat their customers very well. I've had so many, well, they don't, they don't reward their long term, like long term customers. I agree. Only it's new horrible. People. Yeah. yeah. Only yep. new people. So you could be a customer and your rate. That's, that's why I finally just got, uh, got rid of all of my head. I had issues with direct TV, dish network and AT and T and, it was like your rates just kept going up. You know, oh, it's fine. You know, even Charter's doing that. I, and it's so frustrating. You were saying yeah. your, your internet's, what, $65? So my total bill for 100 meg internet and TV service, which is their basic package, is like $98 a month yeah. for those two services. And if I cancel my TV service, mm-hmm. my internet's going to be like 65 or $68 a month. Jeez. So I even, think that's higher than mine. Yeah, it's mine's exact, 59 99 yeah, Really? It's the exact no, same mine's, service. No, yeah. mine's 60 something a month. So if I would go with one of these streaming services, I'd be paying the same amount of money. Mm. I, I mean, I, I'd the, be fine with it. But And the thing that gets me about the Internet service, I was thinking about this today, is that they're not really providing you with anything tangible. They're just giving you a hookup to jump into something that already exists. You're on the pipe. It's not yeah. like – it's not. see, I, I, maybe I'm wrong in the way that I view it, but it's not like – the electric company where they're producing something it's not like the water company where they're purifying something it's the they, the stuff is out there and think about think about it this way all of their all of their operating costs is all marketing advertising uh, and the people that they i mean i'm sure i'm sure there's a lot more to it than that but I, they don't like for the service that it is it, like my electric is the same price as my but it's a regulated 
uh, industry. They have to go public electricity. Se- public service commission <clears throat> has to approve any rate increases for electric, water, any mm-hmm. public yeah, that's true. service yeah. entity like that. A- a- and the thing is, is though the, with the electric company, I mean, in most of any of those companies, utility companies, is they'll offer you some sort of incentives. Like they'll encourage you to find ways to save money. Like they'll give you. Uh, free fluorescent lights, or like you guys yeah. were just talking about the discount on the Nest. Like you don't get any of that stuff from the ca- from the uh, from the cable company for your no, internet. No, but you could argue that my bill has stayed the same for six, seven years, roughly, and I've gotten more speed. Yeah, I mean, it started out at twenty meg and went to a hundred meg. I don't think mine has. Mine was like twenty bucks when it was twenty meg. Yeah, but I remember it was twenty for twenty, and then thirty for thirty, and now you yeah. Know, well, well you're not paying a hundred for a hundred. No, luckily they would. It's not saying they wouldn't. You know. Yeah, it's it's kind of one of those like necessary evils, I guess. But you know, I I I watch all my TV streaming, so obviously I have to have it. Um, except for the over-the-air stuff. But. Well, and now it's so ingrained in everything we do, you have right. to have it. I mean... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, I, it's just... It's it's one of those things. It's just kind of frustrating, and there's just no way around it. Um, I don't know. Well, also, I was going to add to that direct TV. Uh, Sling, Sling is getting a DVR oh, functionality. Yeah? And it's in beta starting in December. Hmm. You could sign up for a beta program. And like the PlayStation Views DVR, you could uh, save something for up to 28 days. Sling's DVR works where you get 100 gigs. Hmm. So, and you could you could save it forever, I guess, yeah. as long as you have the service. But uh, it, it works like a normal DVR, except, you know, over the cloud. Yeah. Hmm. Well, in DVR, I guess I see it on the agenda, but Netflix is doing offline video now, which, I mean, they've probably needed for a while, but I'll never use it. You know, I I saw that too, but it would be nice. I mean, there's there's been times on vacation or whatever where it'd be nice to just, you know, hit, okay, down. there's a little download button basically that... Uh, Okay, I want to watch the, these episodes while I'm but here it, or whatever. It depends on the compression rate too. I mean, how many episodes of how many hour long episodes at HD are you going to be able to keep on your iPad or your phone? Or you know, that's going to be the issue. You're better off using the SD. The if the, you, if your phone has that option, is that the yeah, way you that can. it's can? Yeah. By default, it's 480. Oh, okay. You, you can go up to. Oh, the, I thought you meant an SD card. I'm sorry. I no, didn't no, no uh, S, yeah, standard def. Okay. That's how it's going to work, though. You have to d- download it to your device. So, and then, yeah, yeah, so if your device doesn't have the room, right. well, hmm. but, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of like if you feature. if you normally, you know, listen to music over the cloud or whatever, you can you know, download I, an album or whatever. I wonder how much of this is in response to PlayStation View and Sling getting DVRs in their apps. I don't know. This has been something that's been asked for for a long time. Oh, yeah, with I agree. Hmm. And, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel the same way. I probably won't use it. There's There's been times I've, I have a Plex server. Right, and, the and same that's thing. I, Yeah, I, that's what we do. I, I click download the movies that I want to see, and, but I don't know. I don't know how often I'll use it. Yeah. I can't say the last time I've used Netflix, honestly. Netflix like like streaming? Yeah. Really? I use it all the time. Yeah, I watch much every day. Netflix pretty frequently. They have they have really I think they have really good quality um shows that they that they create. Yeah, remember he didn't like Stranger Things? No, I didn't. Oh, There's something yeah. wrong with them. Or Daredevil. I didn't watch Daredevil. Yeah. No. Well, uh but Netflix a Netflix only show, White Rabbit Project. The three build team people from Mythbusters got their own show and it's on Netflix starting what is it, December ninth? Yeah, the ninth. Friday. Um, they've got a um, YouTube trailer out there. Did you watch it? I did. I did. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks very, very similar to Mythbusters, and I think that's on purpose because that was so successful for so long. But I think it may it may be really good. I'm excited for it. Yeah, it, I'm sure uh, they have a little bit better. I, You know what I kind of like about this? Tell you, us, Greg. You know what I hate about Mythbusters? was the commercial breaks and all that like yeah sure you would you would literally they go 
Oh, you talked about this. Yeah, yeah your dad. dad. <laughs> yeah, your dad was the. Well, no, they they before commercial <laughs> break they go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they go to a commercial break, but they go up next, and they'll they'll show you exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. You're like, why am I waiting around for this commercial break when you just showed me? You know. It'll be interesting to see if it's really an hour long episode or if it's going to be like a fifty minute episode. Oh, they could they could just make whatever however long it takes. Right. You know? If one week it's oh you they'll know, all be the same. Fifty two minutes. The next week it's sixty seven. It'll be interesting though because it's it's Grant, Tori, and and uh, Carrie. And I'm like, wow, why did I, I couldn't remember her name for a minute. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be good. I'm excited for it. I know Jackson's excited for it. Did so. they say how many episodes? They're... Uh, I don't remember if they've said that or not. I would yeah. imagine 8 or 12. And Have you watched um, the new, the guys from Top Gear? No, that's on Amazon. Isn't yeah, it? the Grand Tour. The Grand Tour. I, I mentioned it, but I, but I haven't watched it either. Now, it's the guys from the European, from the English. Yeah. The, from, yeah. It's, oh, wait, is that? Yeah, it's Amazon, called the Grand Tour. And yeah. it's weird. Netflix. It's Jeremy. Um, I can't think of his name. The guys that were on Top Gear, and, and they're, they're basically be- doing Top Gear Europe. with a different name. Well, they were first. The American Top Gear was second to the show. Uh, yeah, I know that, but I mean, they're since they've all been fired. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, it's well, I don't know that they were fired. Didn't the one guy get mad and quit and had like threw punch at another guy? Yeah, I think. But the rest of them went with them. Oh, okay. And now. Um, uh, the the dude, uh, is it uh, Jeremy something? No, the so the European version of Top Gear now has uh, Matt LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc yeah. is the host. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And isn't that a Netflix show now? Huh. Well, I don't know. I, why do I even bring it something I, up uh, that I don't know you anything know, show about? Show prep, Greg. Yeah, Jesus, I know. come on. Sorry. Hmm. So I see you have pulled up. I was going to say, you got over anything there. to add over there, Josh? You've been awful quiet. I was going to uh, ask you guys if you heard about this. There's a, a Bud Light Golden Can campaign that yes. they're doing. You guys heard about this? You know where it started, though? No. With Bush and their their oh, fish like campaign. A, uh, trout or yeah. something. Or yeah. Golden trout. Yep. I thought uh, Keystone does Brown that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Isn't that Keystone? Uh, We're not a Keystone uh, family. I don't know. They do that because Jeremy always says, look for that golden can. Really? So um, they have randomly placed 37,000 golden cans of Bud that Light. Many? Yeah, 37,000. No, listen to this. Wow. This is kind of ridiculous. So it's a contest that they'll select. I think it's like the top, um, or they'll randomly select. Um, I think it's six people will win um, t- season tickets to their favorite NFL football well, team <laughs> for next year. Okay, so obviously for us here in St. Louis, <laughs> we're we don't have a team any luck. longer. Yeah. But, and then from those, they also will select somebody who gets um, c- tickets to Super Bowl for life. Yeah, I, I read a- that part. With an asterisk of only 51 years. Which is oh, you're funny. kidding yeah, me. Yeah, that's kind of funny. But, so then the other caveat to this that is complete nonsense. So the whole thing is it's kind of like the Willy Wonka thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. 37,000 is a lot of cans. Yeah, but it is. Not only on top, not only that, but you can download and print a gold can wrap, and then like hold it up and take a picture of it, and you you get entered into the contest as well. So anybody can get into it. Oh, it is very stupid. So on this website here, they have um, so it's on. So Bud- you <laughs> putting that wrapper on your can can is no different than someone finding right. a can. Right. Exactly. That is stupid. It is stupid. Yeah. So I. On the website here, uh, I pulled up this BudLight.com. You you enter your birthday, and you can scroll scroll through it. You can see all these people holding up, and like a, almost a hundred percent of them are holding up just that, like they printed it out and they've got it rolled up like they're yeah. drinking out of a can. Now there's some of these. It's interesting. It looks like they have it wrapped around a cup. Yeah, that looks like, like a styrofoam <laughs> cup. <laughs> there was uh, let's see if I can pull wrapped some around more. a better beer. So, yeah, yeah, I was or, gonna say a craft beer. Yeah, yeah. Some of them look like they got it wrapped around like a Pepsi or a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I mean, there's obvious unless it's a Budweiser. I don't know, but there's not Bud Light cans aren't red. Wow. Um, but this is just a stupid. That is the dumbest thing. You can you can print. Why would anyone buy Bud Light? Yeah. <laughs> What's the I point know. of buying a case of beer? And well, it just exactly. it just it. I mean, it lowers the, the number of winning. yeah yeah your your uh, what do they call the probability of winning right. something is. 
It's that's like, stupid. It is. It's just ridiculous. I, I guess that gives them marketing though. By and that's people all taking pictures. it comes down to. That's all, well. That's all Anheuser Busch is known for is their marketing. Like, yeah. hey, look for the gold can. Well, well why okay, did they do I, I'll that give you alone. that. Okay, I'll give you that. Right. Yeah. Do the gold can yeah, alone. So alone. That would have been a totally it. different competition. And, Everybody yeah. talks about it. That that is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Or you know, if you do now, find a gold can, found it. you get something else. You know, yeah, right. add yeah. something to it. Make yeah, something, you know, yeah. you get a free sure. case or, a free or even case. make the thirty-two thousand winners make them the ones that get the season tickets yeah. for a year yeah. next year's season, and every Yahoo that enters right. over the web gets put into the big drawing. Yeah, that it. That's ass. It's pretty dumb. I wonder but, if you could make a bot take a picture. Make a bot that would upload that like ten thousand times. <laughs> I bet you could. I thought it was something else that I thought, and I only scrolled through this just a little bit. But um, how do you upload? Is it via Twitter, or you have to upload it to their site? Um, I don't know. If Has it's registered, they just have a register. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a hashtag. Oh, yeah. that's easy. You can yeah. make a Twitter bot to post that damn thing twenty thousand really? times. <laughs> Well, the one thing, something else I found pretty interesting was like the fourth picture on here is, is a Ram fan. Size. And I mean, I scrolled through this and I wasn't really looking that closely. Like you can see this Patriots, guy here, yeah. Patriots, Patriots. But I scrolled, look, Rams. I mean, the within the first like 20 well, lines, it was like three or four Rams fans. That can't be a, a, a coincidence. Like that, I just feel like that's I, like they're purposely placed like there's some deal LA. out there well, with LA and, you're, and well and it could be your geolocation too you know st louis they probably still you know it's in bev so they probably yeah, think maybe. That we still love the rams maybe i don't know i'm I, gonna make a twitter bot to upload a picture ten thousand times well wait a minute <laughs> the same picture why not there's a guy on there that yeah, there's, there's a guy patriots guy it's got there on there twice right, there. right there on that front page yeah <laughs> <laughs> why wouldn't you he's do got, that and he's got different look this one says Pat's Nation. This one just says sweeps. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll make a so random yeah, string. I'll have it. Yeah. The thing is going to be flooded. Same exact with picture. Yeah. Pictures of you. I mean, <laughs> that whole page will be my picture. <laughs> I'm going to do it. The girl Rams fan, and then yeah, yeah, fifty Bowmans. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to look how to make a Twitter bot. That can't be that hard. <laughs> I That's know. hilarious. I, I thought this was just the dumbest. You're going to laugh. You're going to be jealous when I win season uh, ticket or I'd, I'd, Super Bowl I'd tickets for live. Uh-oh. I just thought this was the dumbest campaign. Is he going over to fix a, a stuck know. washing machine? Oh, he's getting some glasses. Oh, it must getting, be about must that be beer time. time. That that's stupid. Yeah. That, well, I mean, you know, it, it's all it's just a product, and then they market all this other stuff around it. And you I know? guarantee the people, <laughs> some poor schmo out there is going to get one of those golden can- cans. Is like. Hell yeah, yeah I yeah. won, man! Yeah, I won. Little does he know there's yep. 50,000 other yeah. people that are... That's so yeah. stupid. Yeah. Yep. Or the people that don't know what to do with it. Yeah, throw it away. Yeah. yeah. Rem- do you remember, uh, I think it was the 80s, when Coke had the magic cans... Were oh, oh something would, would pop open, up, yeah. like money would pop really? out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? I was there that. was there Coke inside the can? I don't think it was just like weighted down. Huh? But uh, yeah, if you opened it, it wow, it would pop out some money or yep. tickets or something like that. Yep. I, I think that. it was a new Kids on the Block promotion actually. Oh wow! I thought it was money. Was it money? I don't know. Maybe I don't not. know, but it was uh, one of those things that I think failed. Like new code. Probably like this thing. Yeah, this is hilarious. I am going to find out how to make a Twitter bot and post my picture a thousand times. Well, um, Magic Can. Yeah, there was. Problems with pop up and Coke cr- promotion. Yeah. Spring loaded tab, dispense real <laughs> U.S. money or gift certificate rebe- redeemable for trips or merchandise. Wow. Yeah. So there you go. I remember hearing some, about some problem with that, but like it put somebody's eye out, <laughs> no. shot down her throat. <laughs> yeah, so, something <laughs> weird. I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Super spring. Oh man. What do you got over there, Greg? Hey, I got a beer. Uh, right. This is from New Belgium, mm. and Ben and Jerry's. Oh, is this the cookie dough one? <laughs> he, he didn't say that with any well, you excitement. Ju- you he? just ruined the surprise. <laughs> oh, this is a crap. You know, I okay. Keep going. <laughs> I'll I'll complain after you introduce. Why it. don't you complain somewhere else? You get free beer all the time, <laughs> huh? 
How else about gonna, that? Where else are you going to try cookie dough beer? Is this the, one of their Lips of Flavor series? This is New Belgian, New Belgium and Ben and Jerry's Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Ale. Hmm. But is it part? It doesn't say a part of one of their series. No. Remember that salted Belgian chocolate beer that Perennial and Belgian or uh, New Belgium did a couple years ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was awful. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Yeah. So I don't have high hopes for this. That's very light. It's very looks like Bud Light. Hey, let's yeah. wrap a golden can wrapper right. around this thing. Well, it's an ale, so hmm. you would your science. Does <laughs> what's the difference between an ale and a lager? Yeah. Come well, you on, would think without that, looking it up, you would think this would be a uh, like stout. A, a stout. Porter. It doesn't smell like any. No, it's not going to taste like it or... Man, I mean. Hey, I love you, Greg. All this hate right here. Wow. Holy cow. Oh, well, it tastes like Color chocolate chip cookie wrong. dough. Hmm. Tastes like cookie dough. It does <laughs> taste like cookie dough. Hmm. Wow. That that was totally not planned. Yeah. I have not been impressed by New Belgium's beer recently, well, and you need I to, am floored. You need to take your hater pants off. <laughs> you just want me to take my pants off. <laughs> just your hater ones. <laughs> That's not wow, bad. Wow, this is interesting. It's not bad. Tastes like cookie dough. I can it totally does, see yeah. That. It's, hmm. man, it's, it, <laughs> it's like you don't expect that flavor from, no, the, from the look of the Not at all. all. Even the uh, aroma, yeah, you, you don't really get anything. No. That's it amazing. Like, it doesn't. It's probably made flavor. with some carcinogen. And, yeah. You know, yeah, probably. probably. That's mm. pretty dang good. So, Josh, you have a snack. So, who, uh, and the snack will probably go pretty well with this. Is it milk? No. Milk and cookies? So you're going to cue the music, right? Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> of course. I'm so glad that thing works. Cashews, almonds, macadamia nuts. I got combos. <laughs> Sweet and salty. Oh, these might be good. Sweet and salty. Chocolate right. fudge pretzel. Chocolate fudge. Did you, Did you hear him hush me? Hmm? Did you hear him hush me or hush me? Uh -huh. Who, hush. Whenever he started playing, he goes, shh. Uh -huh. And it wasn't like a shh. It was like a hey, shh. <laughs> I have loved. And I put my finger over his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and slowly run it down my lips as you did that. Yeah. I have loved combos for since oh, yeah. they've been out. You Great know, snack. Pretzel cheese yep. is, the, is the best. I agree. Remember now, the pizza ones, I don't yeah, care for. Yeah, I don't care yeah. for those. They've gone in so many different directions with them. Pretzel and cheese and the cracker and cheese. Yeah. So um, this is... They used to have... Remember those big old containers that... Almost like a fat Pringles can? Yeah. No, I don't yeah. remember that at all. Hmm. So this is pretzels with fudge. And it's supposed to be new. I'm surprised they didn't come out with this... 20 years ago. Yeah. They're pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Go really good with the beer. Yeah. Very good. It's like we planned it. I know. But we didn't. No. Yeah, what do you didn't. think, Greg? Tastes like fudge pretzels. Yeah. So this might be a good time for our, our listener They're feedback good. emails. Email, I guess. Okay, I got a theme song. Oh, Jesus. I don't. You Go liar. ahead. Okay. Let me, let me pull this up. I do, I do want to say that Mike... Uh, messaged me. He was, I think, in Denver over Thanksgiving, and he is sending us a package. And the package includes a Jelly Belly beer. Because really? He, yeah. Oh. He knew our experience with the, uh, whatever the hell that was, the Jelly Belly torture chamber. Now, it's not like a six-pack, and some of them are well, good, no, some of them are bad. No, I, he sent me a picture, and it was just one beer, so I don't, oh, okay. I don't know what really what it is. It's supposed to be here tomorrow or Friday, I think. Which I shouldn't even say that because it's probably illegal to ship it over state lines because they don't, whatever. Okay. Dear. These are good. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, I like them. Dear. Oh, damn it. Dear Josh, Greg, and Greg. So our, this <laughs> listener got our names wrong. <laughs> and so it's, you know, take it for what it is. Dear guys, I was listening a couple weeks ago when you were talking. At first, sorry, skipped a paragraph. I really enjoy the show. You guys are really good at what you do. So he likes he likes our product. Um, said my favorite.
part was a couple weeks ago when you were talking about Greg's porn stash. I'm sure he has. I'm sure he has more stories to go along with that. You mean the mustache? Or? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah. No, not your facial hair, Greg. No, your your box that was holding in the attic. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. I'm sure I'll there. Are, that. I'm sure there are more stories associated with that. Thank you, Bill Withers, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Wow. Well, thank you, Bill. Uh, I'm glad my humiliation can be entertaining for you. You know, um, I don't know why, but for some reason, that conversation popped in my mind over the weekend. And all I could think about was, oh my gosh, I think Greg said his parents listen to this show. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They haven't said anything. Right now. They haven't said anything. <laughs> Greg, um, <laughs> we need to talk. Yeah. Mm. Are there any other stories you'd like to share? I know you're pushing 40 now, but yeah, I, 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 I think they'll uh, forgive me. Was that know. stuff in our house? Yeah. <laughs> you lived with us before. <laughs> Mom, it was Josh's fault, I <laughs> promise. <laughs> right. Yeah, I blame it on you. Josh got me all those. Yep. I remember that. Uh, hey, Molly, <laughs> try some of this. Great. Subtle, Greg. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't real subtle. Um, you said you had a couple emails, I thought. No, it was just one. Oh. <laughs> I remember them, after moving out, them finding that Tim Allen video where it was... Uh, he he was, was really dirty in stand-up, wasn't no, he? No, he was hosting some... Um, no, it was like a... Like, nude competition yeah. or something. Nudes really? Pop- nudes yeah. popping or something, yeah. It was probably something he did... Before Home Improvement? Well, I guarantee it was. Yeah, like early 90s or something. Because it looked a lot older than, right. than uh, you know, currently. <laughs> but, uh, Greg, uh, we found this uh, <laughs> video. It yeah, must be yours. Did they give it back to you? Yeah. And I <laughs> go, oh, J- Josh gave me this for my, <laughs> birth- <laughs> for my birthday one year. Yeah. I go, <laughs> did you watch it? It was... No, uh, I didn't know what was on there. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I get. To, I take the fall for everything. I'm the bad influence, Fred. Well, you, everybody has that. one. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and you they, gotta and have they a fall it. guy. I'm the I'm the guy who stuck around and helped him through everything in life, but I'm the guy who gets the blame for everything. <laughs> Speaking of girls, uh, I was at. <laughs> 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 Do we need intro music for this? Girls, uh, girls, girls. I was at uh, Johnny's in Sular the other day. With, and, uh, where was our invite? Yeah, I was lost with, in the mail. It was when we went to Guns and Hoses. Oh, yeah. I was with... Uh, so you're with Molly's dad. Molly's dad. <laughs> he suggested going to Johnny's. Hmm. So uh, we went there. I haven't been there in, in I don't know, probably 10 years or so. I've it's never been, been there. It's... Yeah, for those who don't know, it's it's a place in Soulard, close to it's basically a city close to St. Louis, um, and this it's just a place where girls, the waitresses, are in scantily clad <clears throat> outfits, lingerie, or, right? lingerie. Well, you know, I didn't. It didn't really look like that. Oh, really? But it's like see through mesh type stuff, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so we sit at the table. Uh, it's me and three other guys, and. They get mixed drinks. I go, what beers do you have on tap? They say, it, they they got to some IPA. I go, yeah, I'll have that. I mean, they get their drinks. And she goes, there's something wrong with the tapper, but I'll work on it. It was literally a half hour Jeez. Goes, goes by because she doesn't end up at the table very often to say, how you doing? Because... She well, doesn't need to. We already ordered. Yeah. She's and not working we didn't on grind. service. She's working on just her boobs hanging right. out. <laughs> yeah. So finally, I'm like, hey, if that thing's not working, can I just have a Budweiser in a bottle? You know, I was slumming it. So Yeah, sure. <clears throat> she's like, okay, I'll get you that. But uh, once I was like, man, this is really pissing me off. Well, she did bring me to back so she gave me one free one. Oh wow that's nice so that was nice but yeah the whole night at the guns and hoses i'm drinking budweiser's all night long did you wake up with a hangover yeah a little bit but uh that's not my you know it's definitely not my go-to beer but 
when you're there, when you're at a place where that's primarily what you right. have, yeah. it's just easier. But anyway, the whole point of this story is <laughs> the the service there is awful. Really? And the food's awful. Really? What, what are you doing? Just carry on. He's taking a... I don't know what he's doing. I don't either. Yeah, you. I remember you had said before that the food and service was pretty miserable. Yeah, it's eh, it's just not the greatest. All right. Okay. Great. Well, yeah. Sorry, Greg. I know. Did you see my Christmas tree over there? Yeah. It yeah. Looks nice. It we does. Lost it our, is. Um, it is really nice. The Beer Thirty Bar has a tree. Yeah. We just lost our Johnny sponsorship. That was that text message. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a story about a Christmas tree. Uh oh. I wanted to share. You guys will probably find entertaining. Did you hurt yourself? No. Did you get Almost. a real tree? <clears throat> so every year my wife is really into traditions, which I love. I think it's great. Um so we several years ago we started getting real Christmas trees. I think I talked about that before on the yeah. show. Yeah. Um we've yet to go actually cut one down and all that stuff, which you guys were saying there's plenty of local spots to oh, do yeah, that. Oh yeah, plenty. We go to the uh, produce stand here in town, um, Richard's. Uh, Richard's Produce, <clears throat> and get one every year. And we have we pick out um, one that's pretty tall. We usually go for something around seven or eight feet because <clears throat> we have a vaulted ceiling. And uh, so this year, we we you know we all get together, all the kids and and my wife and I, and we were walking through, you know, picking you know standing some up and taking a look at them, you know, and oh, I don't like that one. It's got this spot, you know, whatever. So we we get to this one and. I didn't, I don't know, I'm going to go on record and say I didn't have a good feeling about it. But all the kids and Lori Indiana were like, Jones. yeah, it looks good, looks good. I'm like, okay. So it had this weird shape on the bottom of it that almost looked like a shoe. Like, it, it came out like a weird growth on the bottom, like where it was cut at the very, very trunk of the tree. Oh, okay. So I went up, when I'm like, well, we're going to get this one, but can you cut off this, this growth here because I don't think it'll fit in my tree stand. Oh, yeah, no problem. So it cut off like four inches off the bottom of the tree. Um, so we get it home, stick it in the tree stand. And I got, I got a pretty nice tree stand. Um, so it's got those screws that go in the size, four, four angles. Screws it in real, <coughs> real tight. I've done this for five or six or more years. I don't even know how long. I've been using the same tree stand, no issues. And this tree would not stand up straight. It kept... Like, I finally got it, like, screwed down, and it had, like, a weird, like, almost like a S shape to it. It was, it was strange. It just didn't look right. And then um, it started to lean, and it leaned towards our wall very slowly. Like, we didn't even see it happen. <clears throat> so um, we, I got down and looked at it, and it had, like, kind of ripped the bark away. Like, the, the bark on the, on the trunk was, like, pulling away. So anyway, I had Lori hold it, and I unscrewed it, and I, um, it took forever, and I screwed it back together. She's, like, complaining because she's holding the tree this whole time. She's holding this, and it's like an eight-foot tree. Would you hurry up? Yeah, yeah. I know. So, anyway, we get it all screwed back in together, and it seems pretty secure. I run all the lights around it, you know, ladder and all. Got the lights out. Uh, got the uh, star on top. The kids started getting out their ornaments. You know, the, I talked about the ornaments that we get every year from – uh, Kim's Wick, it's the, uh, the, the Do handmade Do, Deep, Do Depot ornaments. All those are on the tree everywhere. We go to stand back and look at this thing from about 10 feet away. Slowly, oh, no. it falls fast. I mean, it, <laughs> oh, it was, God. started off slow like it was just like barely. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, crap, it's going to lean against the wall again. It went the opposite direction, smashed right on the floor. Oh no! All we heard was cra crash, oh, break, man. boom. Oh <clears throat> no! The uh, the you know it's in. The, we had water in the in the base of so the. So it's uh, everywhere. The water's everywhere. It's like at least a half gallon of water that thing holds. And you know, there's broken glass. There's broken um, ornaments. <laughs> Lori's in tears because this thing is like. I mean, it's all this sentimental stuff and all this tradition stuff. Uh, so I, I, I stood it back up. She's cleaning up all the mess. The kids are out trying to help out clean. Oh, this is my favorite one. It's broken. You know, I mean, it's just Shut like, up. God, it was just, it was like, one of, I'm, the whole time I'm thinking, this is one we're not going to forget. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So we're picking up some of these ornaments and there's like a head broken off of this one. There's like a foot broken off of this one. So I get this stupid tree up and I, I, we, we took off all the ornaments, all the lights and everything. I threw it out in my front yard. I was just so aggravated because I couldn't get the stupid thing to stand up. I don't let that son of a bitch on fire. I was tempted to. <laughs> just <And> so, 
this will teach you. It's, it's like six o'clock at night, and we're like, what do we do? So we ended up going back to Rich's produce and and uh, take we the tree it. back. I I didn't take it with me because I just threw it out in my front yard, and I went back and. And he's like, "Oh, did you you guys bought that one with the with the weird like <laughs> foot thing?" Didn't you? Like, yeah. And he goes, "Oh, sorry about that." And we we got another tree, and they they let us uh, bring back the other, gave us a full refund and everything. Oh wow! So that, they were really cool about it. It's really nice. They're really nice uh, people there. But um, so I took the other one back. But man, I mean, what an experience! I've never the other one. This <clears throat> other one it had a perfectly normal trunk. Put it in there, screwed it in. It's like rock solid. It doesn't move. I don't know what it was with that one. It sounds like someone knew about it, and then the <laughs> one guy that you yeah you, exactly. was helping you yeah. was like, oh, I don't know. Oh, hey, where, that where'd one? that tree go that we were going to throw in the <laughs> yeah. dumpster? Oh, that guy bought it. He's halfway home. <laughs> Well, it, to me, it looked like it had a, uh, like, when it grew, like, out of the ground, like, it first started out, like, at an angle, and then they, like, forced it to go yeah. straight, because it had, like, a, like I said, it had that weird growth coming off of the of the end of it. So, it like, it, it's like it would not, it did not want to stand up straight. It, huh. it wanted to fall over. Why did you choose that one in the first place, The though? kids did it! Well, <laughs> smack them around, go, what do I you know, know I said, about? I, I told them, I, I was on record saying I didn't like this tree from the beginning, Oh, I imagine it. that went over like a turd. <laughs> <laughs> I told you people this yeah, wasn't going to be I told you. So. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was my story. I this is your it. fault, kids. You've <laughs> ruined Christmas. We have... Uh, we, your mom's was, crying. <laughs> Dinner's not done. We had this one ornament that was like... It was like a gingerbread family, and it had the two, like, bigger ones were the, the, uh, the parents, and then four little ones were the kids. And the head, like... For Lori, and it had everybody's name on it. Lori's head was gone. My um, <laughs> my arm and leg were gone, and then two of the kids were like completely gone <laughs> on this ornament. So it only had two kids on it. Did you hang it back? Oh up? yeah, we hung it all <laughs> back. Oh up sure, there. why yeah. not? We couldn't find the pieces. You couldn't make any. I mean, there was your, like crumbs everywhere. Your dog ate them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she probably did. <laughs> Made out of dough. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she's happy too. By the way, she's back underneath the tree on the skirt. Oh yeah, oh, that's really? her favorite spot. Yeah. Really? She loves it. She lays on that skirt all the time. Huh? That's her favorite place to be. She hates whenever we start putting uh, presents under the yeah. tree. Yeah. That's funny. She'll she'll kind of nose them out of the way and try to get down. Really? There, yeah. She lays huh. on the skirt. Chance does that too. Every day, I gotta go back under the tree and adjust the skirt because <laughs> because I go, damn it, Chance! It, it's all messed up and all. Yeah. Oh, it's cute. Isn't that woman's work? That's not no very nice. No, sorry. <laughs> so that was my Christmas tree experience. What else we got? <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting ready to play some music so we should shush? No, I wasn't. What did you have with your uh, boat maintenance? Oh, we I that? changed the spark plugs and oil in my boat this weekend. It's interesting. And in the process, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> In the process, we took the trailer down, and we haven't used the trailer since we got the boat because it stays in our boat slip on the lift all the time. So in the process, <clears throat> we put the boat on the trailer, and the tires were, like, almost all the way flat. So I told my dad, I said, well, when we're done, I said, "Throw, put me back in the lake. I said, take the trailer up to the gas station and get air in the tires. Oh, okay. So he goes, and he's gone, and he's gone, and he's gone, and he's gone, and I'm not sitting out in the middle of the lake freezing my butt off. And uh, he calls me and says, hey, uh, we got a problem. I'm thinking, oh, crap, what? He says, well, the, the, one of the brake calipers on this trailer locked up, and the tire's really hot. I'm like, well, I mean, it, did it break loose or anything? He says, well, I'm going to try and go to the next gas station because their air machine's broken. I'm going to go to the next gas station and see if I can get this caliper un, you know, fr- unfrozen. Okay, whatever, give me a call. So he's he gone forever and ever and ever and ever, and I finally hear from him. He said, well, I'm on my way back. I, I think I got it broken loose, but the tire's still pretty darn hot. So he gets back to the boat launch, and he's back in the trailer down the boat launch, and it gets in the water, and you should have seen the cloud of steam that came off that oh tire. I mean, gosh. it was, he said, it goes, I couldn't touch it. The, the rim on the tire was so stinking hot. He said, I couldn't tuck it, touch it. Man, it was, you should have seen the steam cloud that came off of that. But after we did that, we got the boat back on the trailer. It worked fine. It loosened it up, the water. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So that's my story. <clears throat> you guys looking forward to Christmas? What are we, like, 20? My kids are counting down. I think we're, today we're 25 days we'll away. We'll be 25 days. Tomorrow's yeah. the first, yeah. yeah. So, it's, uh, uh, yeah, sneaking up. Looking forward to it? Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, whatever. You spend a lot of money. 
It just means, yeah, exactly. It just means it's going to spend a lot of money. Yeah. Enjoy it. I do, uh, well, I'll have to report back. I do want to check out Six Flags because they have that Christmas thing going on. Yeah, and we're going to Silver Dollar passes. City in two weeks. Did you see the story online? The There's a big rumor going around that the Osborne Christmas lights that used to be at Epcot are going to Silver Dollar City next year. Um, I I thought they were doing the last year. Uh, they they've been saying that they weren't going to do it anymore. They didn't for, do it this year. Well, the reason this year is though is because there's so much construction at Hollywood Studios down in Florida. Um, because they're build will building uh, what Toy Story Land and Star Wars Land and um oh that's it <clears throat> Animal Kingdom never mind. So they'll they'll probably end up moving it to somewhere else. I bet it just they keep them at both. They yeah, there's them at both. there's a big rumor online. I read it on some website that um, they're moving to Silver Dollar City next year. And what are these? It it's, it's a bunch of Christmas lights. So Osborne family. It's not Ozzy Osborne. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's some family in Arkansas, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, something like that. They always had. I guess their house was decorated just insane. He. He built these, um, like, uh, little figures out of, what, like, metal wire and stuff. And they'd wrap the lights around it. And he made big signs that say, joy and Christmas and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so Disney, they contracted him out to decorate their Hollywood studios every Christmas. Mm. And they've been doing it for, uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been quite a while. I know my parents go... Most of the time, they're going to Hawaii this year. So. Are they really? Yeah. Going to Alani? Yeah. Cool. So, hmm. uh, but the yeah, I could see them doing both, though. Because apparently <clears throat> Silver Dollar City, or the Hershen family, whatever, the, they released a press release last week and said next Christmas there'll be a million and a half more Christmas lights at Silver Dollar City than there's ever been. That's a lot. Yeah. A million and a half. Wow. So, I don't know. A million and a half more? Mm-hmm. I wonder how much that... Something like five million. Is what they have now? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Jeez. They start in August putting them up. No kidding. Yeah. And wow. they're not on LED yet, either. They still have a lot of old ones. Yeah. Old of the, yeah. Old, mm-hmm. I'll report back. We're going down in two weeks. Well, there you go. Mm. We were supposed to go, but... Uh, Never get a part time job at Target during the Christmas season. Oh, apparently. I can see where that would rain on yeah. a parade. Yeah. She she doesn't get much time off. Well, Greg, I think we've done it for about this weekend. We've we? done it. Done it. We it's did it. Been. Where where can we be found? We can be found anywhere on the internet. The interweb. It's anywhere? The anywhere. Go- the Googles. You I'm stuck in beta. You go Beer Thirty T V. If you go to Beer Thirty T V you would read all about us. Um, as long as Greg has the website updated. As long as I... I know. <laughs> you know what, though? iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play. Look for Stuck in Beta. You'll find us. YouTube, we put the video up. Uh, we have it live, and then we have the video up, too. Uh, we don't do much on the video, but you can see our smiling faces. Hey! Well, that's yeah. it. I'm, yeah, I did. I was reading He's reading. He's, All right. He's busy during this show. See you next week. Whoa. Man. <laughs> oh, I thought you were done. Hasty. Sorry. Man. All right. Well, uh, he has nothing more to say. I say we need to work on these. this backdrop, make this Christmassy, okay. too, you know? Whoa, Christmassy, right? right. Yeah, we got we the need, tree like, lights up. hanging from the rafters. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we could do that. Let's we could see. We have one. We have, like, three or two, four more episodes. Three. At least just three. Three before Christmas. Just three? Yeah. The no 7th, kidding. 14th, 21st. Huh. Wow. It's going to go That's fast. It, it is going to go fast. Unless you guys fast. want to start doing this show more frequently. No, we can't handle that. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm down for daily. No, oh, daily shut show. Up. No, you're not. Yeah. All you're right. Not. Maybe 30-second daily show, maybe. 30-second show? I can't even spit a sentence out that fast. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, We'll see you next time. Happy December. That's what we're going to call.